But don't be surprised if Courtney Brown plays a little bit of a false nine up there in her first career NWSL start. 4-2-3-1. Talia Ferry centrally to find Setnor and then Monaghan losing their first game against Chicago. But there were moments in that where you could truly see what they have built and how they want to progress through the lines. But to get that, that first win in their second game at home. Rodman again with the reception. Defended by Real, plays it in. Sar, but the save by Hot. Bethune, nice touch. Rodman on the break. Rodman in, cutting it. Bethune. Oh, she went down. That's a penalty. On the whistle, it's Sullivan. And it's. One nothing spirit. It's better. Yeah, absolutely. Because you know where the players are going to be to your right and left. You have an outlet. You have support defensively. Sometimes three players going for the same yeah. ball. <laughs> yeah. My opinion. Yes. He oh, should look. absolutely. He should look. It should not be and, called and, without and, looking. And he should look quicker than this. Now he's going to look. See that? It's a yellow card. Wow. Uh, I think Fodor is very lucky. I thought it was going to be red or nothing. I didn't think yellow would be an option there on that review. Swept away by Real, but given right back to Rodman. In bizarre to nothing, Washington. The dime to the head of Saar, and that is a fantastic finish. Jumping up and over her defender. Setnor, terrific goal last week. It was a game winner, actually, for the Royals. Out of UNC, Setnor, she can shoot from there and does. Has the confidence to try it. Washington Spirit in those darker uniforms. They have the ball, it's Sullivan. A very good first half. Rodman with an assist, a terrific one on the Sar goal. One of the best you'll see. Here she comes again. Rodman's flying down the right side. Playing it in front. Save. That was hot. Sar could have had a second goal. What a dangerous combination. We talked about Rodman yeah. and Bethune. How about Rodman and Sar? Yeah, well, it was Rodman just like. The halfway line. Gathered in by Gabrielle Carl. Sullivan. Hirschfeld. Tended for Bethune, knocked away, Saar recovers, dishes, Rodman, cutting, Rodman shot is blocked out for a corner. Sullivan out of Stanford University, that corner taken, Saar was held, appeals for a call there, not heard, Rodman, quickly. Left there, Kruger off the post. Rebound there, came out, and Sullivan had it blocked, but Kruger nearly made it 3 nothing. Waiting for Utah. She can't believe it. It's flicked away by Delfava, but Bethune and Rodman do a good job here of just a takeover. She leaves it, and then Delfava misses a second ball as it comes back across, and Casey Kruger can't believe that this doesn't go in. Sits up so nicely for her, but it gets touched there by Delfava. Actually, I think it was real. Royals are doing more defending than they really want to at this point. Chasing a game where they're down by two. EP on the takeover. Strong run. She's got that whole side waiting maybe for an overlap. It's Monahan who joins Gotham's former Gotham player Monahan will play it across. Flick wide. Well, finally, we got to see the run of Betfer and what she can do. That was a sweet ball to Brown. Sets them breaking in transition. Courtney Brown finds another rookie there. Bethune shooting it low. True bounce to Hunt. Advantage was the ruling. Hogarsh. Fodor. Wanted Bedford. And that was Kingsbury calling off McKeown. Yeah, and Fodor puts her hand up right away because it was just a little bit of a forced 
pass there. It, for Utah, it was good movement off the ball, and I think that's wh where they're going to have to really grind here in these last 25 minutes. Ball was picked. The chance here. Saved by Kingsbury. Rebound block off Bedford. Sentner and the Royals nearly scored. Off one of the rare giveaways tonight from the Spirit. Here they come. Rodman leads it. Sar is there. Take it out on the tackle. Referee's looking right at it and just waved. Nope. They've done a good job of sometimes possessing to get forward, but really breaking in defensive, good defensive actions. Fodor. Sentner. Rides off a challenge. The shot. The flex. Ali Sentner. Her second goal. Not afraid to take on a chance and now. It's officially game off. Being late to keep a lead. Well, now they're chasing a game. And this is what you want. Setnor staying lively. And she takes on the first player. But she showed last week she can shoot with her left from distance. But she's just as good and effective on her right foot. She cuts inside. She knows exactly what she wants to do. Finding that little seam. Bounces with a little bit of a deflection here from the defender, making it different, difficult for Kingsbury to get a good read. These teams will fight until the end, especially one like Utah, based on humility and hard work. Yes. Mazingo. Another strong Ooh. rookie. Plays it in front. Keep her out. Photo of block. Again. Uh, you can understand why she's unhappy with herself on that. She was in. Griffiths. Mazingo chipping it. Just over. Why not? Get away. Headed upfield. Bethune oh. goes for it on a breakaway with Hot out. Hot does well no. there. And Utah what? lives on. <laughs> the expected eight. It'll go short to Bethune. Referees looked at the watch and said, that's it. Spirit win their second straight at home, but it wasn't easy, Jordan. No, it wasn't easy.